And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's Sanctum Shield, and our exalted Chosen One just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Mirror table. Our pulse on everything Hydra. Really brings an Avengers Tower vibe to this place. It has been useful. The Abbey always harbored great resources, but Stark and the Doctor have enhanced its abilities tenfold. Don't get me wrong. Tony and the other Steven are great. But I believe in giving credit where credit is due. You've also been doing your fair share. And I wanted to let you know that it hasn't gone unnoticed. That is a generous compliment to give. Thank you, Captain. It's not generous when it's true. They say a good soldier should always trust his gut, and if my gut is right, and it's almost always right, I think you have a destiny beyond just defeating Lilith. And what destiny is that? Keep playing it straight with me, Hunter, and maybe I'll trust you enough one day to tell you. I think, uh, perched by that mausoleum, uh, gargoyle he is. Yo, Hunter. Blade is outside by the mausoleum. You should thank him for saving you. Just FYI, he seems a little shaken up. Yeah, you should go check up on him. You're one tough cookie, Hunter. Biscotti level tough. Biscotti? Teeth breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth breaking with venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? He's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You definitely left a mark on him as well. He is quite impressed with your capabilities. Well, let him know. The feeling is 100% mutual. Happy to have him on the team. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later. Hey, can I ask a favor? Was that the first explosion you've survived? If so, you deserve a cookie. 
Uh, to be clear, I'm not going to bake it for you. Put a priority on bringing me some more intel caches. Stay out of trouble. Hunter, I would really like to speak with you, if you have a moment. Caretaker, are you alright? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom. But I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter. Are you actually as fine as you seem this morning? Or should I be worried? No, caretaker, I am not. My collar, the explosion, it cracked it. Cracked? Yes. I feared this would happen. Venom was filled with your mother's power. It would be naive to think it couldn't fracture even our best defenses against her. Ugh. At least cracked doesn't mean broken. Not yet, at least. You will have to work doubly hard to rein in your darkness. Your actions and words mean more than ever now. Make sure you use them with integrity. I understand. Yeah, well, I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. Hunter, hello. Could go a few rounds. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. I hear I owe you my thanks. You know, when you were resurrected, I was sure you wouldn't be able to overcome the darkness inside you. What do you think now? I'm beginning to think I was right. You are your mother's kid, all right. No escaping that. I am nothing like my mother, and it is offensive to suggest so. You can deny the truth of what you are all you want. Just... what do you think you saw? You're telling me you don't remember what happened after that blast? Because that was some messed up shit. Tell me. You were crying out for your mother. Calling out her name like a lost kid at a theme park while all this crazy-ass dark energy was swirling around your body, almost taking it over. I was so sure you were about to fall that I didn't leave your side. Surprised you came too with the light still in your eyes. I feel fortunate to have you looking out for me, Daywalker. You and I, we share the same burden of bad. And that's some heavy shit to carry. 
I want you to know, you don't have to carry it alone. I would appreciate you not sharing what you witnessed with the rest of the team. I don't plan to. It's not mine to share. I'll leave that to you. saying is that it's never a good thing when the prophesied savior of your blows up. Yes, the venom creature's alien nature continues to plague all of us. I've seen you take on a scroll army, hurl Thanos into a moon, make Galactus smile. They're all aliens too, last I checked. Something else is going on here, and you know it. We just gotta find out what and why. Still with me, oh magnificent one? Yes, I'm simply silently agreeing with you. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, you're, you, you what? Wow. I got nothing. We've all walked away from explosions, Hunter. Don't get arrogant about it, but from what I saw on the monitors, you did look really cool. I'm sure I'm not the first person to inquire on this fine morning, but seeing as how you did explode in what I might describe as a most spectacular fashion, any side effects I should know about? Headache? Blurred vision? The urge to murder us all? Do not waste your energy worrying about me, Doctor. I am fine. Oh, but it's my job to worry, quite literally. Worrying is written into my contract with the Avengers, and I don't want to be in breach of that. Tony is a stickler for the fine print. But, in all seriousness, I hope you feel comfortable enough to disclose any medical conditions you may be experiencing now. We can't, in good conscience, send you back into battle against Hydra if you're not in tip-top condition. <sighs> my collar. I'm afraid the explosion cracked it. Cracked? How big is this crack? Minor. Almost undetectable. Hmm, a small fissure should not be a problem. Your collar is made of tough stuff. Almost as tough as you. But if you see it expanding even a millimeter, you must, and I mean must, come to me immediately. Absolutely. You have my word, Doctor. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any burning philosophical questions about the universe you need answering? Do you really think we will be able to halt the prophecy? Halt? No, unfortunately not. Prophecies are stubborn things. So you do not believe I can change mine? Anything we do would be like dropping a rock in a stream. We might stop it or divert it for a bit, but the relief would only be temporary. This prophecy will come true, one way or another. How do you do it? Do what? Balance both light and dark magic without becoming overwhelmed with one or the other. 
Yes, I am rather well-rounded in my magical gifts, aren't I? I suppose I see magic as a tool. I use magic, but it doesn't use me. Just remember, you don't need to go pure dark or pure light unless you want to. There is room for everyone's own unique path. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am deathly afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human. Hunter! Boy, am I glad to see you. Things are starting to get more awkward than usual around here. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. I couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. Right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess, you have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. Plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster? You betcha. I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. How's it going, boss? Ah, uh, ah, uh, not bad, right? I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. How may the Sorcerer Supreme assist you? Ah, uh, yes, I remember this one. Got any blueprints for us? Remind me again why you haven't digitized this stuff already? This is going to take way longer than it has to. 
There's something to be said of the careful study that can only be achieved by examining the physical documents themselves. Also, it's a Zen thing, then. You become one with the old book, and it shares its secrets with you. Always quick to mock the things you don't understand. Oh, no, I'm honestly interested this time. Maybe I can adapt your technique into something normal people can use. I'm going to take that as a compliment. All right, let's get started, Dr. Spooky. Farewell. You fought Venom, Hunter? Just in case you were looking for another opportunity to even the score with Hydra, I think these clowns are hoping for a fight. We'll handle it. Show them what happens when you mess with the Midnight Suns. Sure thing. About time. Now that was something. Mercy for the servants of the living. I think you got him. Get ready. Take it on positive, that's your strength.
had your chance to escape. have to do better than that. My spidey senses are tingling. Many before you have tried and failed. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. on fumes here. Like they just missed their mama. Don't blink. Not slow me down. Engaging target. 
someone. Up, up. Oh, they smell nervous. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Watch close. You kissed the mother with that mouth? We're on top of it. Back in the light. Power the light. Shall be of great help. Payback's gonna be fun. The light is on our side. Every little bit helps. I'm on it. This would be a lot easier if you guys just give up now. This should be fun. It must be tough losing all the time for like decades. Some for the rest of us. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. Hey, look. Heading to shop class. You win? I am ready. Right on. Good instincts, but you want to tighten up the array. Uh, like this? Close. Here, I can show you. Uh, what's all the, uh, new equipment? Ah, the supplies? No need to thank me. Donated to the cause. Courtesy of five Stark subsidiaries. Wow. That's... It's really something. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but just take what you need. I'll clear out the rest. I promise. Awesome. That's great. Did you know Tony planned to do this? No. Did you? Nope. Maybe he can tell us what's going on. Huh. What is wrong? It's nothing. How's it going, boss? Ready to get your hands greasy? Tony, why did you bring all this equipment? Really? The old stuff has a junkyard horked up in an 80s machine shop vibe. Why, were we supposed to vote on it?
Do not worry about me. Robbie, huh? He's usually so laid back. I didn't think he'd have a problem. I cannot speak for him. The two of you should work it out. All right. I'll fix it. So, about this situation, I get it. We're bumping elbows. But you kids are doing good work here. Whatever you want to do, I'll support it. Glad you cleared that up with Tony. Now we can get to work. Now that we know Wanda's a threat, you'll need an edge if you face her again. What kind of edge? Nothing that involves her coming to harm. We're looking at ways to protect you from her abilities. How is that possible? Our first prototype keeps you connected to the real world in case Wanda alters it around you. Like an anchor, tethering me to reality? Exactly! If Wanda alters your reality, our second prototype alters it back. Robbie got the idea from his spirit of vengeance. I think the prototype is powered by Hellfire, so best not to jostle it. Like a button I press to reset her alterations. Or a broadcast interfering with her own transmission? Perfect. You got it. I have the components you gave me. Always good to get ahead. So, are we good to go on this project? Just a moment. No rush. I spoke with Tony about the equipment. He says he wanted to support shop class. That's all? He believes he is helping. That is good enough for me. Yeah, that's what I figured. Look, you came here to make something. Don't keep Parker waiting. I guess I'll keep an eye on Tony. Make sure he doesn't do any crazy rich people stuff. Like what? We don't want to find a champagne waterfall in the break room, you know? Actually, that would be tight. You ready to put this one to bed? I am ready. That went... not poorly. And that's a decent prototype. Just needs refinement before you bring it to market. You plan to sell it? It's only an expression. Although... nope, stopping right there. Is that it for today? I am ready to go. That is good work. Well done. Uh, thanks. Did the new equipment help? Yeah, it, uh, it really took the, um, the complexity out of how we used to do it. He's right. It cut our time in half. Good. I just want to pull my weight around here. Well, you're definitely pulling a lot of weight. Almost all of it.
ominous presence there? They're not always glamorous, but these missions are still crucial to stopping Lilith. The tower bells are ringing. My favorite childhood prank. But I have not heard them in so long. Caretaker must be wincing right now. Or maybe this was her idea of a joke. its ugly head. One of them, anyway. Do you remember the bells, kiddo? When you were young, I could barely keep you out of that tower. Any excuse to ring those damn things? I don't know how close I came to cutting them down. Stay out of trouble. Nice to get some. Let's see if you're as good. Practice makes perfect. How's it going, boss?
What are we doing here, Magic? We're unwinding. Together. Really? I was not aware that I was wound. I did not say you. This is a place I like to take all my... colleagues. Thank you, Magic. I value our collegial relationship as well. You are welcome. Now stop talking, Hunter. Relax. Okay. I will try. I said shut up already. You're ruining the warm vibes. Sorry. Hey, can I ask a favor? Oh, thanks, Hunter. I need to hydrate. I have something for you. Tickets to next year's Stark Expo? Components for shop class. All right, I guess that's comparable. We've stumbled on a Hydra unit unloading some of their stolen bounty. Unfortunately, their crates are rigged to self-destruct. The required key card isn't swiped first. And Hydra's agents are carrying the keys. 
You'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. So be it. Ready? I am impressed. They cannot possibly match your strength. one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Hail back! According to They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. Weak, even for Hydra. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. is armed to detonate. Get to that key card. Last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. Your 
suffering. <laughs> I guess you were aligned with Lilith. They're not living up to their reputation. Centuries shipment Hydra won't be receiving. One thing you and I have in common, Hunter, we both know death ain't a career ender. I mean, you've straight up resurrected. You know, the end of the world is really messing up my travel plans. Where did you plan to go? All over the place. Calcutta, Vladivostok, Cape Town, Perth. Maybe swing through Transia on the way back. I see. You were going to these places to hunt vampires. No. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It's not the primary reason, but yes, it might happen. And why do you want to travel? Meet up with some other vampire hunters across the world? Share some new tactics? So it is about hunting vampires. So you think you're clever for guessing the professional vampire hunter wants to hunt more vampires? No. Mm-hmm. Maybe. You need to stop hanging around Parker. Yeah, I could tell that online. Here to gloat, Mother? Quite the opposite. I was concerned. I could
could not sense you after. Your pet monster nearly destroyed me. An unintended and unforeseen consequence of your continued assault against me. The mystical energies within our blood do not always mix well with off-worlders. But neither do the wards of your pretentious sorcerer. The Venom creature is a calculated but necessary risk. Alien monstrosities, Wanda's unchecked powers, coupled with Banner's unhinged mind. Whatever you are planning, Mother, I fear it may be beyond even your control. Your concern touches me, but I would risk the heavens themselves if it meant saving you. I do not need saving. Oh, but you do. And that crack in your collar is the first step. Every revolution of self starts with the tiniest of rifts. An ever-so-slight splinter in the glass. A hanging thread begging to be pulled until it unravels all. You should be celebrating. That crack is the beginning of your emancipation from my sister's control. She keeps you collared because she fears you. They all do. Sarah wants to hold you back from realizing your full potential. The way she tried to hold me back centuries ago. I would not need this collar had I not been corrupted by your blood. Is that what you believe? Oh, child. There is so much you must learn. But you would never believe me if I told you. Not here. Not now. You must discover those answers on your own. Once you're unshackled, you will finally be free to be yourself. And who is that? Answer me! Hunter, we have finished the symbiote sampling device. Come to the forge to have a look. Peter, what's wrong? Stark and Strange are deciding what to do about Eddie. You think they'd ask, you know, the only guy who gets what Eddie's going through? That sucks, dude. You okay? I'm fine. It's Eddie I'm worried about, as well as the rest of you. Guess I'm not qualified to handle this because I'm not an Avenger. Men that powerful think they have all the answers. Well, then... We're missing something, Hunter. And the frustrating thing is it's happening right in front of us. Where? The Sanctum is filthy with Hydra. Too many of them. It wouldn't take many guards to secure the building. So the question is, what else are they doing in there? There is only one way to find out for sure. And to do that, we need to get inside. That's not going to happen until we get a sample from Venom. Our list of problems continues to grow longer. Well, we're not here for the easy stuff. I want to ask Bruce for help, and then I remember that... pompous version of themselves. Tony and Strange really need to figure out some sort of magical, unfallen control Z button, and fast. Lucky you caught me in a good mood. Stay out of trouble. You know what they say about... Practice makes perfect.
Hey, boss. Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler. Hot off the old demonic presses. That is not what I expected. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. And I suppose you have a plan for that, too? Actually, I don't. Been too busy wrangling our friendly Forge Demon while ignoring Strange's advice in order to build a one-of-a-kind gamma-powered symbiote extractor that burns hot enough to pierce the sun. But basically, we just need to stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I, uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. I see. And does Spider-Man, Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. It's not going to be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. Guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Venom is not Banner, Tony. And Peter is not you. Well, that's the point. I... I look at Peter and I see... Well, maybe the person I could have been if I didn't let money, fame, and my dad's war profiteering get the best of me. Maybe I just want to keep the kid... a kid... for as long as possible. Tony. End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's gonna be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Talk to you soon, Hunter. What have you got for me, boss? How does this look? How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. Maybe they are trying to protect you, Peter. 
They see your youth and feel the need to shield you a bit. I've saved the city I don't know how many times. What do I have to do to prove myself? Grow a goatee like Strange? I do not think that is necessary. Good, because it would be way too itchy under the mask. I know it can be frustrating, but you should not waste time wallowing in it. I know, I should be doing something, because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. If you want Stark to pay attention to you, there are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Ah, <sighs> fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. Hunter? I see Tony showed you his new toy. He did. He is so in love with his toys. I don't suppose he's given much thought as to who should get close enough to Venom to use it? If anyone understands Venom, it is Peter. He might be a good candidate for this mission. The ability to put ourselves in our enemy's shoes can tell us where they have been and where they are going. Peter, interesting. His innate humanity and unwavering empathy for Eddie Brock's plight could make him an ideal candidate. This won't be figured out right now, but we should decide something soon. Time is of the essence. But I suppose you know that better than anyone. We will talk again soon.